So it turns out that I forgot to edit in the sunset of day one's uh, vlog in part one. So here it is. We passed the shipyard. We actually, to watch the sunset, we went to Sturgeon Bay and went to those beaches that me and my brother checked out the night before while it was super dark. It was way prettier when it was actually light out and the sunset looked really nice, although it was a little bit covered by some trees. The shipyard also looked really cool from the viewpoint that we were at as well. So that was the real end of day one. Next on day two, our plan was to spend the, almost the entire day at Washington Island, which is an island only accessible by a 30 minute ferry ride at the very, very top of uh, Door County. Washington Island is an anomaly as it's very isolated since it's only accessible to leave or to get there by a 30 minute ferry ride. But it's the people who live here love it and they live a nice quiet island life. We actually were going there to one check out the island because they have some cool points and views but to mainly see a family friend. The family friend has a beautiful lakefront property without a beach it's just they have really nice views of the lake on this awesome like rocky little point. That Me and my brother went exploring a bit more into a backwoods area by the lake front and found a nice little, little viewpoint of the lake with more rocks. It was really pretty. After a nice visit with her, we decided to go up to the north point of the island to Schoolhouse Beach, which is a very rocky beach with known for having good waves and decent swimming. Schoolhouse Beach was really cool, and it had a lot of rocks, which is kind of why we didn't decide to go swimming there, but it was very pretty to see all these rocks, and we had fun skipping the rocks too. I even waded in a little bit, which did not go so well. Oh! Jesus! Oh my god! After that, I had a nice sandwich for lunch, and we traveled down to the south point of the island to go to Sand Dunes Park which is meant to be a nice little dunes area. It was pretty underwhelming, there was like a single dune, but we ended up swimming there and it was decent. It was nice and sandy at the start, but after like three feet deep, it got really slimy and weird. So it was better if you're looking to just lay on the beach, but if you're looking to actually swim, it's not as good. We boarded the ferry and got back to the mainland. We ended up stopping at this one point called Ellison Bluff near Ellison's Bay, and it was way prettier than we expected. It was, you had to drive like an extra 10 minutes on a gravel road to get there, but it was well worth it and it was super cool and super pretty. After that we stopped at a new ice cream place called Door County Ice Cream Factory. They produced their own homemade ice cream and it was really tasty and way better than the other place. Next we stopped in Sister Bay to see a better review of the sunset and this time it was way better than yesterday's sunset. Then we headed home for the night. A successful day at Washington Island and looking around the other northern part of the peninsula. I woke up on day 3 knowing it was the last full day of our trip, and I was very excited for what we had planned. First, we drove to Ephraim, which you should remember from a previous map, and we went onto a pontoon boat. It was right next to it was right next to the same place where we went parasailing, but so we found we got onto a pontoon boat, and we were just going to pontoon around for like basically the entire morning. We pontoon almost every vacation. There's a body of water that we can, and this is by far the nicest boat that we'd actually pontooned on. So that was really nice to have. We were going to be boating close and around uh, Eagle Bluff and Peninsula State Park, which is a very pretty state park that we'd hiked in previously and swimming previously. And we were going to be 
uh, boating right by Eagle Bluff, which is a really nice scenic area. It was really cool to see from the boat. It was one of the best sights of the entire trip, I would say. Very, very beautiful. Once we got to Eagle Bluff, we slowed down the boat to take a lot of pictures of the really pretty bluff that was there. It's also known as Eagle Bluff, so we actually ended up seeing a bird's nest and a bird kind of perched on it, but we think it was maybe a hawk and not actually a bald eagle, which is a little bit sad, but I've seen bald eagles before in Wisconsin, so it was okay. We drove the boat a little bit past Eagle Bluff to this nice bay area where they said it was best for swimming in the water, and we did just that. This boating experience is probably one of the best of the past few trips I've been on, since it was just so cool to just be in Lake Michigan and be able to see the nice water. It wasn't really too currenty or anything. It was just an overall really pleasant and awesome experience, and the swimming was great there too. Next we went mini golfing. It did not go so well. I lost pretty badly. <laughs> We drove past Sister Bay next to, next to this really cool restaurant that's actually famous for having a green roof and having goats just be on the roof during when you're eating. Real life goats. It was pretty surreal. It was pretty awesome though. Drove all the way to the east side of the peninsula next to near Newport State Park which you can see on that map. We, did, we were going to hike the Fern Loop Trail which is a short little trail that kind of goes through the woods. It was really pretty and kind of nice to see all the flora and fauna of the area because we've mainly been spending time on the lake and around the coast, but it was very buggy. We're back at Door County Ice Cream Factory for the next stop of ice cream. This time I got mint chip and a double scoop. It was still really tasty and I would definitely recommend going there if you go to Door County. Next we stopped at a little secluded beach near Sister Bay. It was awesome. Easily the best swimming experience of the entire trip. It was so cool. Had the best waves. We were able to ride them and it, it was definitely the best experience so swimming. It was highly recommend going there. We saw a deer and that's the end of day three. Here we are crossing Sturgeon Bay, leaving Door County for good. It was really, it was a really nice trip. Lots of great views of Lake Michigan. I would highly recommend going there just for like a weekend or something. It's so worth it. And it was just a nice little getaway from general bustle of life. After 40 more miles of driving, we ended up reaching home. And that's gonna be it for the video and the trip vlogging. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe, like, done.